This is Mo Access 2019, Module 3, Part 5. In this segment, we will look at queries using logical operator comparisons. So our logical operators include equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, and less than or equal to. So let's get into our Lakewood database and go ahead and we can create a query. So we're going to use another query as the starting point of our query. So we have a query called Stone Mountain Patients and I want to use that one as my starting point. So I'm going to click on it and then do a right click and choose copy. Then I'm going to right click on a blank spot on my object pane and choose paint, paste. Now it asks me for a new name and we're going to call this one earlier visits. The most common mistake I see students making after they do this, there's a few things, but one of the first ones is they just double click and start changing, which means you're changing the original one you copied, not the new one. So the first thing you have to do is click on the new query, which is earlier visits, and double click that. And then as a second double check, make sure that the tab states earlier visits or whatever the new query's name is and not the original one. Now as the book describes this, they have you enter the new criteria. So we're going to switch to design view. They have you enter the new criteria and then remove anything you don't need from the old one. I am a bigger fan of removing what I don't need and fixing that up first because sometimes I might forget. So the first thing I'm going to do is take Stone Mountain out as the criteria under City. Then I'm going to check the box so that the City field will show again. And then I'm going to move city in front of email. So I'm going to click on city, hold the mouse down, and move it over in front of email. So I've removed the stuff that I do not need. Now I am ready to enter my criteria. I want to see all of those visits that happened before 1-1-2021. So under the criteria row, under the visit date field, you always want to make sure your criteria is under the field that it relates to. I'm going to enter less than for before 1-1-2021. 2021. And when I tab out, because it is a date field, it knows to put the hashtags or pound signs around that query or criteria, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and click run. First thing you should be doing is a quick scan down these dates to make sure that none of them are after or including 1-1-2021. Another common mistake is the signs are backwards. If you check your results, you will immediately know if you have your sign backwards. 
So always make sure you run the query and look at the field that is, has the criteria in it to make sure you are getting the information that you are supposed to be getting. Go ahead and save the changes and close that query.